it we'll again. Do it we'll, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. We're going, Cass. What's going on? What, what is going gone? Yeah, what's going on? Everything is gone. Man, how you been, bro? What's good, good Frank? Good, man. How, how about you, man? You was out there in Chicago. Yeah, I was out there in Chicago. You know, some deep dishes. Yeah, a little deep dish. I see you. Took the words out of my mouth. Took that taste of pizza. I wish I took that food, too. <laughs> We got a live check-in on the NBA playoffs right now. Cleveland Cavaliers is whooping that ass. 61-39. to Boston Celtics ain't not coming with it. Um, as expected, they should just fast forward to the NBA Finals as they should have done since the beginning of the season, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Um, no, man. What's good, man? How you been? Man, I've been working hard still, man. Yeah? Yeah, trying to maintain. A couple more weeks of the struggle, and then I'm going to be, you know, back And then you're going to be living the American dream. White yeah. White picket fence, baby, in the house, huh? You know what I'm saying? White picket fence in a pit bull, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something mean you gotta with blue eyes. You got to giant pit bulls. Man, I'm, man, I'm scared that? of the yeah, mother. I'm like, that, ever see that video on, like, Facebook, the giant pit bull? Nah. Yeah, I, uh, everyone's seen it. Damn. You getting a little pit bull with it though, man. You working out? What's good, man? You talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, man. I've been eating hog maw, kid. <laughs> beef heart. You ever ate beef hearts? Beef hearts? No, I'm good that on that, like some, man. That sounds. That sounds like some brave heart shit. What is that? Real beef country heart? shit. Nah, that's right some shit. There. This big nigga told me one time. Yo, what's up? I get. I get. I got big like this from eating beef hearts. Beef hearts. Yeah, I went yeah. to look for that shit and found out that don't exist. The old school remedies really be the truest. You can go to GNC and stock up on whatever you want, but at the end of the day, you know. I remember my uncle, my, my one uncle is Jack. He used to just be like, yeah, I used to just take, like, raw eggs and, like, you know, hard-boiled eggs just bring them to the gym with me and just eat them in between <laughs> reps. I'm like, you fucking crazy, Savage. <laughs> you didn't throw up? The fuck? That's disgusting. Damn, Rocky. He's that's huge, crazy. though. He's huge. Yeah, peop- I mean, that's cr- I-, I believe it, man. Back in the day, man. I mean, it was whatever it gets the job done. But uh, as always, we got, a, we got guests, plural. It's I think it's the most one. guests we've had because we have the guests... Of an upcoming web series, and um, we have Aisha, the creator, yeah. and the brain. Filmer. You you also filmed the show as well, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Oh mm-hmm. damn, so that that's pretty dope. So the last reup, that's the name of the show, correct? Last reup, yeah. That's yeah. pretty dope. I only got to check out one episode, but it looks pretty nice. So yeah, thank how long you. you been working on the show? Well, we started last summer. Oh okay. And then you know life got in the way. Yeah. We couldn't shoot some. We just had to, so we ended up just finishing like a year, almost a year later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it takes it takes a while. I can't even imagine, especially just all the memory must take up on your camera and everything, and just yeah. Like one of the biggest things is probably just like deciding what to to take and not to take. And, and then like editing. That. The editing process yeah. has to be Yo, a bitch. Is, that that has is something to be. you have to be seriously dedicated. Because, man, when you edit, I mean, I know from my experience with my videos, exactly, the computer shut down, the space full. Yeah. I mean, shit, like you spend 15 minutes working on something, yeah, and then it, it'll wipe it out. Even you know doing a music video. That's why music anyone that's everything. like, because you hear so many people that want to attempt to do a web series, especially with Netflix now. Everyone's got their own independent films. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, I got this great idea. I'm going to do this web series. But to the people that actually <laughs> legit go out and do that venture, props off. Props, like, because the hats off to you, because we already know how much time it must take to complete just one episode. I know. So you know, yeah. we definitely have that respect for you coming in off the bat. So. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's time consuming, but it's it's fun. The editing is the the tedious part, right? And the part that takes a lot. But yeah. the nat- the natural part is the writing. I mean, you just picked up. I know from the conversations we had yeah. at work that. You just recently picked up the filming and editing, but the writing is what's your natural beginning talent. You know, how long have you been writing? I've been writing. It goes back from the beginning. You know, hip hop. I used Mm. to, you know, I was writing raps and ghost writing for people. I'm I'm from the beginning of hip hop. Before. Yeah. Before the birth. Yeah, that's where that's that's where I started. Nice. So I ended up writing like the um, autobiography for the first female MC, Sha Rock. Oh, okay. From the Funky Four Plus One More. Oh, I, I did her autobiography. I heard yeah, yeah. And she's the first female MC. I did her autobiography, and I just started writing from there, from writing raps. Then I started writing books, and then from the books I went to the screenplays. That's awesome. So where are you from? Are you from the? I'm Bronx? from the Bronx. Yeah. So you are from the birthplace. I'm from the. Be- I'm, 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 I was there in the beginning. My, this is my brother. Him and I, we were, we were in the, one of the, the first. This is a rap group called the Monterey Crew. With 
we had Charlie Chase and all of that. Yeah, so we you go guys back. like digging in the crates, b boying, we go back before, and everything. Yeah, huh? yeah, that's awesome. Yep, that's awesome. So, what were some of your inspir like? Were you like, what were some of your inspirations? Just being at the house parties back then and stuff, or is that? Yeah, being at the jams because I was real young, and a lot of times I couldn't get in. I couldn't get in the like the fever and all of those places. I could only go to the schoolyards where they was doing the jams, and anybody can go. That's the only places I can go because I was too young. Right. But um, so like I like I said, I was in the beginning before they were um rap records. It was wow. us rapping, you know, to instrumental beats mm. and stuff like that. So I come from that. That's where I come from. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's just crazy to even conceptualize just thinking about, like, not even there being rap records and people yeah. actually right. out there it's rapping. Yeah, being on the street. Mm -hmm. like Something that's totally brand new. Yeah. And just even in that borough at that time, it wasn't even all five boroughs yet that got it, probably, right? right? Just, in the, just in the Bronx. Yeah, and I remember the, like, the DJs would keep that the break beat so that we can rap. You know, keep it going long enough so we can rap over it. Wow. Yeah, and you know. Break dance. Yeah. You know, I, I did it all. Graffiti, break dance, rap. I did everything except DJ. Now I never knew how to DJ. Right, right. But other right. than that, I did all the other elements of hip hop. I did. That's awesome. Yeah. Damn. So, so who were some of your your influences? As uh, who were some of your favorite MCs that came yeah. out of that? Who was your first beginning? favorite MC? Yeah. Well, my first was Shah Rock, because that was the first female MC that I, I knew. You know, um, it was Shah Rock, and then probably like the Mercedes young lady. This is <laughs> this is going way back, y'all. I hate to even date myself like that, but hey, I'm proud to be at the beginning. No, this is awesome. We have a lot of like, young <laughs> listeners. We have listeners of all different ages, but yeah. especially the people that, you know, just totally inept and don't even know about it. And right. don't know anything about hip-hop. Yeah. 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 They don't know nothing. So like Shah Rock and the, the, the Mercedes ladies and... Um, probably like the Funky Four because I like K.K. Rockwell, Little Rodney C and Flash in them, I like them Melly Mel was one of my favorites and still is, he's mm. one of the best lyricists even though I don't think people, he's underrated right. Melly Mel Oops. and um, Cold Crush, you know, I like them too Melly Mel used to go goes to my old gym yeah, I was in, say, in Mount Vernon huge, right? uh -huh. he's still these yeah. <laughs> he's brawling bro. Look, yeah, this he's is like huge. recent pictures of him he is huge like, damn, he bro. met beef uh, cakes. What was that? Beef what? Beef hearts. Beef hearts. Beef hearts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> beef hearts and egg yolks. Yeah. I want to ask. So, what's the what's the web series about? Like, yeah. Want to get back to my brother. I'll let him. He can explain it a little better. First of all, I like to say assalamu alaikum to all my people out there. This is Hamid Abdul, aka Ducey. Uh, uh, I play Ducey in the web series. The web series is about two young guys. And a, and, a, and a girl, a young girl, was like playing in a, in like, you say in the bathroom, playing. And one of them happens to find a gun. And being kids that they are, you know, they playing with each other. Pow, pow, and pow, pow, and stuff like that. But they didn't know it was a real gun. And pow, it went off. And by mistake, the little girl got killed. You so know? that's how it starts out? That's how that's it starts out. Oh, that's that's like deep, the beginning okay. of it, mm -hmm. you know. And by them being 10 years old and young, and both of the guys' uh, fingerprints was on the gun. They really couldn't say he did it, he did it. So they both got charged as juveniles. So they both get locked up for about 10 years. So they went in at 10. They don't come home until like 20, almost 21. You know, so it starts from there. And uh, but it, since that happened, since one went to one prison and one went to the other prison, they got an animosity against each other. Like the one who really shot the girl blames the other guy, and the other guy blames the one who really shot the girl. So they, they had a beef from that from that time on. And it just starts from the time they come home and how one change, tries to change his life to do good, and the other one is just as crazy as always. You know, and, and it starts from there. And then it goes into different scenes. The last re-up stands for everybody is on their last re-up to, to get money or get paid so they can leave whatever game they in. You know, they're mm. sick and tired. Right. So they're going on that last wee up so they, can, so they can load up so they don't have to do this no more. But if you watch the series, you're going to see it ain't that easy to get that last wee up. Everybody's going through their own thing to get that last wee up. You yeah. know what I mean? And by the end, you'll find out who got the last wee up or does the last wee up still got to continue. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, I, I got some other people here that's uh, with us that's in it. Uh, this is uh, Lonnie, and he plays back down. Yeah, you know, 
Yeah, like like you said, you know, we came we came a long way. You know, we we international now. We being seen in different countries. Countries, you know, Man. Japan, Germany, all kind of, you know. Like I said, yeah, we going we we were right right now, you know. So nice. People from all all over the all over the place, you know, they run into us like, oh, ain't you from so and so? Yeah, you know, so. Nice, we came, nice. we came a long way, you yeah, know, from that, being that actually, the, the new, the new title to what we is now. You know, we trying to, we trying to do what we do, and you know, from here on, we just gonna keep on doing what we doing. Absolutely. I don't think we doing nothing wrong, are we? Uh, sound good to me. <laughs> Obviously, you're getting recognized for what you're doing. That's yeah. an indication you're doing something very right. We doing, yeah. So where'd you so, get, where'd you guys get that inspiration from? Was it based off of something true, or does it, you know? The, of the, of the story originally. I'm going to tell you, a lot of the names of the people in our web series is real people. Okay. <laughs> to be honest with you, like, Ducey is a real uh, uh, friend of mine who I grew up with. And wow. he watches the series. And he likes the Ducey that I play. <laughs> and wow. he's Ducey. You know, he likes the character that I play because, you know, he grew up with me. He watched me grow up. And he tells me, you know, just keep, keep doing it the way you're doing it. Right. You know, and uh, like everybody names is really somebody. But the inspiration for me was when my see me and my sister used to write books, too. You know, she talked about the yeah, rap yeah. stuff. We did all that. But we got our own publishing company, too. I got a book out called A Whore Next Door, Part 1 and 2. Not whole. <laughs> Not whole. I said whore. Yeah. There's a whore and a whore. It's two different people. I'm a whore, but I ain't never been a whore. You know, so, but yeah, but I got a I book called I read a, that book. Yeah. yeah, I got a book called A Whore Next the Door. The Whore Next Door. So we got door. a couple of books out. So we started <laughs> that, writing. That's books. definitely nonfiction. I need uh, to know yeah. where she lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rent the place next door to her. Yeah. So that's why playing Ducey was kind of, easy for me you know people say wow your brother really played that part because i i know people like that i know people who did what Ducey does Ducey has a girlfriend that he's trying to get his last re-up off of her so as she goes to the strip club and make money he takes it that's what he do and right. her last re-up is to get all the money she can get so she can leave Ducey. see everybody's on the last re-up to get away from their circumstances and start a new life you know what is the overall goal of this of the, the last re-up show. Like, what is your goal? What do you hope to accomplish with making this show? Hmm. Hold on, I got to give you back to the creator on that one. Hold on. Um, I, I mean, I didn't go into it like that. Um, you didn't because, have a goal, you just having fun, basically. Or yeah, just, because I never, I never picked up a camera. I never did any of that stuff. So it yeah. was just that I wanted it, because I feel like, you know, coming from the book game, I felt like I was doubted by a lot of people, like I couldn't do it. And then when I reached out to people to try to get help, you so know, you, nobody didn't really want to help. So I felt like I, I, I'm going to show. You had to prove. Yeah. You had to prove something yeah. to people. Yeah. yeah, and I actually like it. You know, I actually you like should. it. Yeah, so I don't know where, you know, where it's going to go, but I got so many things. I got so many books I wrote. I'm turning all of the books into, like, movies, mini series. I'm doing No New Friends. It's going to be the next one we're coming out with. It's going to mm. be a part three, like a mini series, And then um, then the season two. And then, like I said, I'm going to turn all the books into screenplays. That's my goal. Now, is your goal to, like, sell? Are you going to try to sell those screenplays, or are you trying to, like, do all of the stuff yourself? That's I'm why, like, do, a Netflix yeah. deal. Yeah, or? like, because that, you know. I'm going to try to, yeah, but because somebody else said something to me about Netflix. See, I don't know how you go about any of that. So I'm just going to keep doing what I know how to do. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to put the material put out. out and material if out. I get, you know, if anybody right. contact me, you know, I go from there. That, that That's how I'm going to do it. Good. Nice. Where, where can people find this series right now? Well, the series is on YouTube. You go to YouTube and you go to The last re-up the web series and that'll take you to the trailer it'll take you to episode one episode two you know all the way to the rest but another thing i gotta go back to the question he asked yeah. what we was trying to get out of it mm -hmm. what we would see we from the bronx originally and most of your web series is like new york you know i'm gonna say right. new york baltimore like most of the cities like and since we living in connecticut we decided it's time to put new england on the map a lot of people don't know a lot about new england you know, so we had to show them that even though y'all in the city and things go on, things go on in New England too. You know, but it's just we do a lot behind Where closed doors. Where in Connecticut? Doors. Where in Connecticut you at? 
Danbury. Danbury, okay. Yeah. We represent Danbury, Bridgeport, New Haven, New Milford, New England. New England, we in the house. For all the people in New England, man, we are representing New England and we represent New Only York. Only New England. And you don't have a lot of web series that represent Connecticut and New York. We're representing both. You know, we just want everybody to get on it. Yeah, BX. We always in the BX and we always in Connecticut. Um, and uh, what I want to get out of it is just to show That's that, good because you could attract different crowds too with that. Just, yeah. Just by being from different areas and... yeah. My you goal really was to just help my sister out and just put out the best product I can. So I try to play the best person I can play. A lot of Deucey is me. You know, that might be my alter ego or whatever people say, but a lot of him is me. Right. And so that's why it was easy for me to play him. Uh, some people say, you ain't do it to get rich? Nah. My whole goal was not even to do this to get rich. It was just to get out there and let y'all see how a storyteller my sister is. She could just look at you and just write a book about you right now. That's how she gets down. <laughs> I need to come book, up with the so character I mean, name saying, and everything. I, I but we got another name. cast member here that we call Jay Boogie. And Boogie I'm going to let Jay goody. Boogie let y'all know who he is. Oh, you got the nice chain over there, too. I yo, see. yo, what up? Yeah, this is Jay Boogie right here. What's going on? You know? Peace, Jay Boogie. What it is, yo. What's good? Yeah, so, you know, um, basically, my character is... I'm the old school. I'm old school. Like, really, I'm old school. I come I come from that same era. I come a little bit before her era. Like, oh, you just from yeah, the old school. The old school. Gotcha. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, um, my character is old school. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the OG. And gotcha. I'm trying to keep everything in line. And if you get out of line, you pay the consequences. Okay. Okay. With the OG, you know. Okay. I saw you on episode seven. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? The <laughs> problem? Right. Right. Uh, you know, if you got a problem, <laughs> handle it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you definitely. Like, really, you were. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up. So, anyone ever got body on the show yet? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I, I want you to watch it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Go a trail it. of bodies on the show. Go through it. Trail a trail. Go through it. Check it out. Matter of fact, yeah. I'm also a member of the cast. Yeah. Nah, I know, I know. And um, I only, I only got to check I'm, out I'm, a little you, bit. You talking about who got body? That. My brother was bodied. I'm out here trying to figure out who shot my brother. Damn. I think I know what's going on. And if you check in Friday, you're gonna see how that shit ended okay. up working out. You okay, nice. Saying? So yeah, Friday's yeah. the finale. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I, wait, 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 wait. I just said Friday. I don't. Oh, is that the truth yeah. or? It's Friday? Friday. All right, let me make Friday sure. But I just put that shit out Friday's the finale. Okay, yeah, there we the go. The last re-up on YouTube, the last re-up, the, the mini re-up. series. The Friday, the web, the web series. series. Yeah, check The it last out. re-up on YouTube. This Friday will be the finale, and it's episode eight. Check out my man catching some bodies. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. What's up, man? Yes, sir. I just got a real nice burst of energy. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it the coffee? I, I maybe. I, I don't know. Um. So, talk about your next project a little bit more. Oh, the next, the next project I'm doing is called No New Friends, uh-huh. and it's a book. It's like it was a best-selling book for me. Um, it did very well on like Amazon. Really? Um, it was bestsellers list for months, maybe a year straight. Woo. And so, I'm going to take that and turn it into a mini series. Nice. Yeah. And, and um, I'm doing a casting call, so I'm going to need some. You know, looking for some new. Yeah, looking for some new faces. Yeah. And I put. I have a Facebook group called the Last Web Series Fan Page Group, and I put like the character description that I'm looking for for the uh, casting call. So, I'll be on the lookout for that because I'm definitely looking for some new faces. Ladies. Oh, yeah, Looking for some new faces, ladies. There's <laughs> <laughs> a character over here. Damn, man. So that's so that's what's up. Like, what's your um favorite director? Do you do you have one, or what's like what what inspired you in that? Are you are you going for a certain look, or you just you just shoot yeah, life as you see it, or or what's? Yeah, I just shoot it as I see it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't have a favorite. I do like I like people. I like Spike. I like Spike Lee. <laughs> okay. And yeah. 
But um, I don't really, I'm not really, I can't even tell you the directors because I don't, I just shoot. Right, you know? right, right, yeah. right. How long are your uh, How long are your uh, your shoots like for the day? Like, is it do you, do you have like twelve hour shoots? Do you go like three days in a row? Um, sometimes it might we might do like eight hours because what we do is we shoot in New York, then we shoot in Connecticut, then the next day we might shoot in New York, is, and then we shoot in um, Connecticut, and it'd be like between five and eight hours each time we shoot. And what what have you found has been one of the biggest challenges of, of just logistics and, and, and doing have mo, you know multiple locations over different you know states and stuff like that? I think it's the cast, mm -hmm. the people, people bringing people together. <laughs> yeah, sometimes people together. it's hard to get people. You know, like I'll say, okay, this is you we're gonna shoot Monday at yeah. a certain time at this, and, and people don't come prepared or they they might not show up at all. But for the most part. You know, people have been good with that. My cast, I hear some horror stories. And then you have some people that, you know, in the middle of this our web series, one of the characters just, like, disappeared. Mm. And I kind of messed up everything because everything... Was an important one character. One of the main characters, yeah. yeah. And everything was revol revolving around this character. And so I had to think, like, oh, man, how I'm going to change this and, make, and let it still keep look oh, real, you know? Real. And so we, we, we pulled it off, but... That's that's one of that's the challenges. That's one of the other things because I saw immediately, like I said, I only got to watch uh, half of the the episode that I did watch. Yeah. And, and it looked dope because, like in the first three minutes, you already see so many different things happening. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's what really intrigued me, and I was like, wow, this you know this show right here, I haven't seen it all, but it's got so much potential just yeah. because Thank there's you. so many things going on right now. Yeah. And. In my head, I was like, whoever's shooting this, whoever's directing this, what like, what do you do? Do you walk around with the camera? Because it's got to be impossible just to coordinate. It's impossible enough just to coordinate a music video with two different people. So just trying to get a full web series and an episode in with different yeah. characters in different places, like, how do you even pull that off? Yeah, see, like I said, I got it separated between the New York and the Connecticut. So I tell the Connecticut crew, look, we're going to shoot this, this. And when they come, we just shoot everything. Or I, I shoot out of sequence. And then I put everything together and edit it. Mm. You and do then the I editing? Go to New York. I I got a guy that helps me edit. Yeah. Yeah, cause I did, cause I was doing, I was using iMovie, and yeah. I kind of like it was easy for me. Yeah. And he's using um, I forget the other one, Adobe Premiere and something else. Adobe and Final Cut. And Final Cut, us, and I don't yeah. really know how to use Final Cut. Yeah, that that's like learning a new language. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very, iMovie was easy for me, yeah, and yeah. it still came out good. So I might go back to that. Yeah, but um, the editing is, is, is really hard. But, yeah, the, you know, just the, um, going back and forth between the two states and trying to make sure everybody is coordinated. I'll just tell them, look, come tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then we just shoot until we finish. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I do a lot of shooting out of sequence, and then I put it together in the editing. What's a typical day? Like, how long does that take, a, t a typical day? It seemed shoot. like once we got past like episode three, that it came natural to everybody. Uh, so they're just coming, bing, 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 and we just. One, one take. I remember one time, yeah. Ham, he, his, he plays Hammer over yes, there. Man. He plays Hammer. Hammer? <laughs> hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going Hammer. And he's hammer. good, this guy? Yeah, yeah, he is. You haven't watched it yet? Uh, oh. You gotta watch it. I got, I, he I just got put it. on like this yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I yeah, gotta watch it. I wanna see this. Uh huh. A Hammer typical Becca. day, you know, I just tell them, like when we, when I shot in New York uh, for the finale, I had people coming from all over, even Rhode Island. Yeah. Um, shout out to them. They have a web series called Grimy. Yeah. And they, uh, their, 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 their web series is big, and they said they, they out of Rhode Island, and um, they came. They had a cameo in, in our web series, and I coordinated everything, so I, mm. I made sure I got everybody out of the way first, mm. and then when they came. They was they they they're, they're in the finale, so everything was once you like your part is finished and you 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 get out of the way and then the next person come, knock his scene out then the next yeah. person and I kept doing it like that until I finish. Okay. That's how I do it. Any unexpected inspirations during the shoot that uh, maybe caused the, the story to change a little bit or just just. Um, mm. That's a great just question. a That's shoot, a great just question. during a great shoot, question. just something happened where maybe the chemistry just was like, oh shit, and all of a sudden like everything on the camera just started lighting up. I can give you one, and this is just real deal. 
we getting ready to wrap it up. I mean, we getting ready to do this finale because we know it's gonna be it's gonna be the bomb diggy, right? Right. And the mic breaks. Oh yeah. Now yeah. we like, oh man, <laughs> yeah. what are we gonna do? How are we gonna finish this? But you know, we put our heads together, took a little shot of Henny, and then uh, once we got our mind together, we got it together, and a little bit of prayer because I always pray. It came out, man. We made it through, man. So that was like one of them. Then we had maybe had one where we were supposed to shoot on this individual, and he can't make it. <laughs> now you can't make it. So we shot something else. You know, we shoot around them, and then we'll come back, and, and, and on the editing, we put it in. So it's right. really the people, man, the people and the weather. I say the people and weather if you're doing outside. You know what, what I mean? Jay, you got like anything you want to say on that? Nah, you know, like, that's the main thing, trying to get the people, like, we always looking for females and we looking for brothers too. Like, if you want to be a part of this, get at me on Facebook, Instagram. It don't matter. Look for the last re up. Get at us, cause. What's your Facebook? We, the last re up. What is it on nah, Facebook? Nah, my 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 Facebook is June Roll. June Roll. How you spell? Let the let J U N E R O L L E. Okay. June Instagram. Got gotcha, you. Yeah. Gotcha. Get at me. Hit him up. Hit him up. June's coming up, and he's on a roll. <laughs> Get at him. Get yeah, at him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, are there any shows that you guys are watching now? I mean, like, while you're creating, I'm sure you don't have that much time between work and life itself and, and doing the web series. Um, Any other shows that you're watching right now where you're like... Just What's your favorite show, basically? My favorite show is grimy. I'm sorry, I, you know. Web series. web series is grimy for me because I had the opportunity being one of the f first ones in the last re-up who got picked up to be in somebody else's uh, video, a uh, web series, which is called Grimy. And nice. then Grimy uh, Ching is in ours. i like to give a shout-out to Ching, Uno, and everybody up there and in Rhode Island. You know how y'all do. You know how we do. We all stick together in New England. i like to give a shout-out to all my people in Boston. You know how we do. Get on YouTube and check out The Last Re-Up, the yeah, web yeah, series, for yeah, real. Yeah. Last Re-Up. Yeah. yeah. That's a dope name, though. Cause that's also something that like people just like ah I gotta get this last re up and then I'm done. It's like Carlito's way almost. You know? Right. You know. It's right. Like, I'm gonna get but this. you know what my sister did different than the other web uh, series since you brought it up. She doing. See, I was just done like individual. She showed my life and what I'm doing for my last re up. Mm -hmm. She showed the girl that was my girlfriend. What's she doing for her last re up? Right. What he was doing with for his last re up. Everybody what OG everybody doing for his last re up? Everybody got their own. Intentions and on getting it, how they gonna get their money, how they gonna leave the game, and we are all struggling to leave the game, and that, that's what it's about. How the struggle we go through to get money to leave the game, you know, it, it's no terrible. No matter what your hustle is, right? So yeah, we 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 got together and shot that final episode, and that shit was crazy. Yeah, you know what you've I'm been saying? together. Yeah. You've been doing this from the start. Um, like, my, how did I, you guys hook hook up? You know what? I'll tell you. You mind? Go ahead. Y'all, we worked together. I'll okay. leave it at that. We had conversations or whatever, and, and I remember she told me that she wanted to shoot a web series. But I hear that shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when I do these videos, you know, we do this shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so right. I'm like, okay, cool. And then <laughs> the next thing I know, she had the camera. The next thing I know, she... And I'm like, wait a minute. That, that shit was so fast for Quit. me. I'm like, yo, you really <laughs> doing this shit? Yeah. The next thing I know, I'm watching the trailer. I'm like, okay. You know, I do that. We do those things. You know what I'm saying? Next thing I know, it's an episode and another one. And I'm, and this shit was dope. I'm looking at this shit like, oh, wow. So what you made you saying? decide to be like, okay, I want to use my, my co-worker. We're friends with co-workers, but I want to use my co-worker in the show. I, was, I think it was because I know he was telling me. He, he showed me some videos he did. And he and he knew he knew more about he knows more about the camera and all that stuff than me. Yeah. So you know I don't know that I'm just learning. So um, I didn't know he would even be interested. But when I told him, he said, "Yeah, I'll be." You know, I oh, said yeah. I got a part. Yeah. So I made up a part for him. Oh okay. Yeah. Nice. And Thank that, you for that. That was a great <laughs> look. <laughs> that nigga hammer. 
<laughs> you came flexing the guns one day at work or what happened? How yeah, that's what I'm saying. He walked in the nah, you like the most hammer hammer right right I think I said I wanted to shoot a nigga or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like, yo, you got a paw for me? Can you want me to shoot somebody? My name is Hammer and I got the guns. <laughs> yeah. Word. It was, I mean, I, I didn't really, own the hammer. Yo, it was for me watching myself on there. The first yeah. time was like, and the thing is, we do it. So I'm the one. I'm not at all shy in front of the camera after as many hundreds of times we've yeah. done this. But watching myself acting like that for the first time is something where I had to actually be decent because it's not my video. This is somebody else who granted me this opportunity. You have no creative control. Right, and, and you're under. You're under her. Like, but but not, not even, not even saying it like that, but just knows. saying at, when I'm near, I'm like, okay, I have to do something or try to do something good because this ain't my shit. Like, I'm not trying to fuck her show up. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And so it was weird for me at first. And plus, you know, when you get around the cast and you don't know nobody, it's like, you know, but now that, you know, after the few times I've been around... I've been around the, the other cast and we've had conversations and shit. We made them you know what I'm saying? We made them and, welcome from the beginning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's more of a natural thing. Like if a shit was if it was going on for another four episodes in this season, it would probably by the last episode be like like how when we did the shows on the West that time. Right. The more you you know what I'm saying? As far exactly. as the chemistry between the people in there, you keep going, it just get better and better yeah, and better. And I felt that energy, especially on the last day. What, what the, the 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 mishaps or whatever with the microphone and all the other things, people not showing up and right. certain cast members just disappearing. <laughs> the energy was still right, and I think yeah. in the end it felt like it worked out. I haven't seen it yet, yeah. but it felt like it worked out pretty good. And I'm just blessed to to be a part of it. I don't know what's happening with anybody for the next season. And that's another thing, you know, um, you get a chance to talk about what you plan to do as far as the time <laughs> of, f of filming and, and when, you know, is there a season two or uh, can we expect to see something and when, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely a season two. I told you I'm, I'm putting no new friends out in the middle, like start shooting that in June and then I'm start, starting to shoot uh, season two in August so I wanted to use I wanted to shoot for a whole month and a half straight and then start dropping the episodes in October like every two weeks okay that's so, the plan I didn't do it like that the other time I, I started last July and just finished now this time I'm taking a whole month and a half and just shoot oh, shoot and then edit and then yeah, release that's how wow. I'm gonna do it <laughs> yeah I would like to give a shout out to the cast and the makers of Grimy. I also oh, had the opportunity to get my part in Grimy. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know what I mean? Aisha put me in position. Well, you know what I'm saying? You and gotta, I'm you, you and tell in that position, up. I was able to finagle another position. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's working Hammer. out perfectly. Like, I really appreciate it. You get 15 You know what I'm saying? Right and, and doing that <laughs> along with doing the podcast and along with working and living not life, you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. a great feeling to know that we doing things, and you know what I'm saying. Not in this thing. I mean, this website, uh, website, web series. I'm sorry, I keep butchering that. But just looking at grimy, like, like you guys, video by video, you keep getting better, more views, more views, and I just see them doing more views, and it's just looking real positive, you know, mm -hmm. for where you guys are going. And he mentioned to me earlier on the phone today when we were talking, he was like, you know first episode was all right we were just figuring it out but episode by episode it just got better and better and mm -hmm. it kind of reminded him of money and violence did you guys watch that show yeah i watched money and violence i watched some of the web series and i know a lot of people who did web, web series so I, I try to support them so i do watch it but i don't watch too many because i don't yeah, want mine don't to want be yeah i don't want to get influenced exactly yeah. Yeah. i'm the same yeah. way with music if uh -huh. i'm making music i don't want to listen to too much drink yeah. or too much yeah. whatever it is because i don't want to Subconsciously, that stuff will. Yeah, you know. that's true. But I like Money and Violence. I met because I had an opportunity to meet the main character. Oh, his okay. name is Moses. Okay. Yeah, I had an opportunity to meet him when I was thinking about doing one. And he was the one, actually, he's the one who encouraged me, told me to do it. Oh, really? And I said, even though I don't know how to do the camera, I don't know how to work the camera, Go I don't know it. how to do any of that stuff. He said, so what? Neither did I. Go on YouTube and you could. 
That's the tutorial. Best thing. Yeah, he, you know, so he get. If he, I don't think, I think I, I would have done it, even if I didn't meet him. And he told me that, but that kind of gave me encouragement and gave me like a push. Like, that's go the ahead. best thing to learn by doing it. Yeah. So many people have ideas like, oh, well, like I'm gonna do this. You know, well, I just gotta get this. I just gotta get that in order. I gotta get this look or this person behind it. It's like reality that never happens. YouTube so. yeah. is everything for you. YouTube taught more people than professors. Yeah. yeah, there's yeah. so much shit on there for you Facts. to learn about. From you. Yes. Yo, you know what's crazy? Facts um, life. Probably in like 2010 or something, I was in, um, I was taking an American literature class, American lit or some shit like that, right? In American. Yeah, and, <laughs> and um, I remember I was in class one day and we were having some discussion about something, and I ended up getting into a discussion in class where I, I spoke and I was saying like, yo. The difference between somebody like me and the kids nowadays is coming up. They have all of these educational tools, these things like YouTube, where now I'm like, nowadays you can go on YouTube and learn anything you want. Yeah. This was in 2010, and the teacher said to me, like, well, YouTube? Nah, I don't, really? I don't think that's... And I'm saying, like, you just don't know. Right. This was they didn't. seven years ago. Now years ago. they were also protecting their jobs too. Yeah. That's, yeah, true. That's, <laughs> that's true. true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I almost said five years ago. Wow, seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube is. I created my channel in 2006. Right? Yeah. 2005, YouTube started. Right? I started posting yeah. in eight and oh eight. Is it 2005? I don't know. I know I posted my video, my first video in 2006. I actually started using it in 2008. Same. I was the same because that's how we met each other. Yeah. But I was the same exact deal. And, like, I posted one, I think, in 07 just to test it out. Mm -hmm. I just wish that I had just took to it. Even two years earlier would have made all the world a difference, you know? Yeah. February 14th, 2005. Wax. 2005, yeah. yeah. Google was September 4th, 1998. Netflix was August 29th, 1997. Yahoo. Netflix was 97? Yeah. Netflix yeah. been around for a while. Bro. I what had Netflix. Google? They was just mailing D CD, DVDs they mailed in the mail. They mail. Uh, yeah, I remember that shit, man. I, I, that shit was the best because it was like they had video games and everything. It was the new shit. It was yeah, like, yo, yeah, I don't yeah. even got to go to Blockbuster. It was like, yo, Blockbuster, Blockbuster, Blockbuster immediately Blockbuster. went out of business. And like, the thing about... I've never seen something faster take over. They blew up like Well, a what made Netflix pop is even though it was through the mail, they, what you wanted to see, it was unlimited. Mail. So like with Blockbuster, these niggas would get two copies of the new Training Day movie. With Netflix, all you got to do is wop, 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 and that should be in your crib yeah. in two days. Mm -hmm. So whatever they had was unlimited, and that was how they started to take over. Because, I mean, you you go to Blockbuster, they don't have it. Yeah, you're right. You put your yeah. list on Netflix, you and they and something send was a that new shit. release. Yeah. Oh, it was gone already. Because they, they have the front cover, but you check behind it, and the box is Right. Then you yeah. sit in there waiting like, yeah, it's supposed to come back today. You know I read this this interesting article last week about how Blockbuster is still thriving in one state in America. Get the fuck Take out of here. Take a guess. Here. What state? Florida. Florida. Damn. What, where, yeah, it's it's, it's the like, only state. Only state. That is let, me, let me think. Let me like think. Hawaii. Close. Texas. California. Alaska. 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 Alaska, because they said that for whatever reason in Alaska, it costs a lot of money to have your internet and stuff like that. So for you to be streaming Netflix, it's actually more beneficial and cheaper for you to go to Blockbuster get and, the and get fuck whatever. Out yeah. of here, really? And just because also it's so cold and so dark throughout most of the year, a lot of people are just watching movies. So it's like mm -hmm. I don't know, I just thought it was pretty dope. There's like twelve blockbusters in Alaska and they and they're wow. still popping. My store was Video Visions. I don't know if you guys ever had that one. Mm. Video Vision? I don't know, but I remember it just like sound like an adult. So hey, yeah. they had adult <laughs> shit in the back though. I know that because I used to walk back there like, what's up? Let me get that. Yo, back down. What's, what's up, man? Yo, man. You guys rap. Yeah. You and Jay Boogie, y'all oh, played shit. a couple joints oh, that I didn't even that. know about. Y'all played a couple joints for me in the car. That was pretty dope. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But we got this thing we do here on the show. My All man, right. Kenny Shane. Absolutely. We do. Um, First of all, before I even get into that, you down to freestyle tonight? Down to freestyle. Would you want to kick us a verse or something? Is this mic even on? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on? Yeah, it's on. You kind of got the Ab Soul vibe with the glasses on. It. Huh? I said you kind of got a little bit of Ab Soul vibe going on with the glasses. Ab Soul? Yeah. yeah. You listen to him, <laughs> huh? You don't know who Ab Soul is? Nah, you said let's see what up. Ab Soul. What's up? TDE? Huh? TDE? 
TDE? Technical oh. Dog Entertainment, Absol, yeah, Kendrick we, Lamar. We have a call. Oh, Kendrick. Ken, uh, oh, his boy, Absol. Oh, oh, okay. I know. The dude Ken, with, the, with, the, with the glasses. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Who got a... Yeah, yo, his girl's bad, man. Yari Sanchez? She, he still there? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I, he I is. Maybe he is. I respect it's the it's game for that one. But, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Kendrick. Kendrick. You down to freestyle, though? Yeah, Hey, check it. You know, though, I'm part of the cast, too, now. Hey. We got some practice in the cup. Play the beat and we we'll find out who's starting this shit. Raps. You run, everyone raps. Just, just play the beat and we we'll just find out hey. who. Yo, yo. Start the mic. Check Start it, it check off. It, check it, check it, check it out. And here's the introduction. Uh, my man, I mean, my brother back down, look cause eruption. Whoops, he got the microphone. We gonna give him a second to say his piece. Hey. Put your hands in the air and do your thing, yo. See, came from D.C. Now I'm NYC. Uh -huh. You know who I be. Uh -huh. It's Lonnie D. What my niggas say, uh -huh. you know we don't play. Yeah. Plus we got books on the side every day. Hey. We do it in this last re up all the time. time. And you know we bout to shine all the grind. And you know we bout to do this for real. Freestyling on the mic, I ain't write it for real. <laughs> hey, I'm about to pass it. One, one. Cause I'm the one of the kind, kind of mastermind, mind. We started with a lemon, lemon, in it, and with a lime, lime. At my five nickels, with my ten dimes. Go to the liquor store to buy some wine. I leave the store, what, to have a good time? I be outside, hey, in the sunshine. The bottle's in my hand, the bottle's in my hand, the bottle's in my hand. That does the crime. Cause I'm bad, bad, super bad. I'm like my dad, I make you sad. Cool, cool, hey. so you need. Oh. Gotta make your body free. Oh. Mother, father, sister, uh -huh. preacher. All the time he tried to teach you. When he tried, then he don't. It's up to be the proof of point. That I'm hey. on, that I'm strong. Strategies, what you like. When you hear me in the day, and you hear me in the night. Yes, they call me the man Hamid. When I'm on the mic, you know what I did. So, J Boogie, they say you're on the side. Get on the mic and show them how you do it, right? Coming with the click, represent the real shit. Yeah. Player for life who need the motherfucking meal. Hey. Success cartel, show no love for them haters. We keep our game tight to let you know we be some players. Camouflaged in fatigue, lifted on the weed. Strapped with the eagle, silent infrared beam. The number one team who want cream, thick cheddar. Success making moves, no one does it better. You can find us in BX on them things, Trey. Five, yeah. Spinning at the stop and your bitch is on the rise yeah. I know she keeping it low but I can tell she's getting frisky The way she lick her lips, uh -huh. oh, I know she wanna twist me hey. No, she wanna twist me Niggas get twisted like Miss Winners One, two, one, two Feeling frisky, bring the beat back Let Nomad rap, they miss me I bring it back like rewind wine selector when I grab the microphone and check her. I'm then the fucking ah uh, shit, but I just keep on going if my mind is crowded. Then I just speak when flowing. If it don't make sense, you play it back a few times. Let the new rhyme hit you. Let the new grind split you like the last Rhea. The whole cash shit, wide seer. We thought y'all all was coming, we hope, but situations kind of hold people back. Some things are kind of whack, like traffic and distance. What is this? I split mother's raps in an instance. Mm. For this, forensics, I get up in it. With fucking Q-tips, microbiology, and psychology. I came <laughs> back with positive results on my fucking... Uh, biology. Yo, I went a little bit too far. <laughs> yo, shout out to the cast of the last re-up, man. The last reel. The shit is popping. Y'all gotta check that shit out, man. That shit is it's raw. Success. Raw Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, part of that was like Success. nostalgic. Some of the way they was kicking them flows. The yeah, I just floor. like to give shout outs to the whole cast of the last yeah, reel. Foxy, everybody, my man, Twenty One Blue, all 21. Of everybody, P.O. Parson. You know what I mean, yo. Detective D's, we out here, man. You know what I mean? So check it. You know, the last re-up is in effect, baby. 
And um, we out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, we getting ready to do this new joint. You know, and we doing the casting call. So if you bout it, you know what I'm saying? If you if you want to give give yourself an opportunity to um, to be on film, to shine, shine or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Have your family see you on YouTube or whatever. It's a very good feeling. And, yo, yeah. come and check us out. Sign up. Come, and ca come to the call, casting call. You know what I mean? And boom, get on, get on. Like you know, it's a it's a good on, it's a baby. great opportunity for call. everyone. You heard? Another shout out to the cast. I'd like a shout out to uh, my man Charles, my man Los. You know, yeah. we in the house. I know y'all not here. Sabrina, yeah. D's, uh, you know everybody. You know, thank you all for supporting us. On when my sister came up with this concept. Her number one fan was me. <laughs> if she said that's what she gonna do, like I said, we like pinky in the brain, you know, she's the brain, I'm the muscle. You get it together and I'm gonna make it happen. You know, and, and with, with that and the cast and everybody sticking together, we like a family. It's not like you just come shoot your shoot and you go home. We a family, man. We all sit around, we kick it, we help each other. And it's like, see, my sister might write the character for you. Yeah. But your character has to come a part of you. She like write it and tell you what the character's supposed to do, but she don't tell you what the character's supposed to say. Yeah. See, that's when you add a piece of you to it, and that's what makes it real. You know what I mean? Because once you put you in it, like I tell somebody, if the person that you playing act like that's you going through that same situation, well, what would you do? But that's what you do when you shoot this. Just be yourself and shoot that. You know what I mean? That's real words. But I heard you rap. We ready to hear you put down a little something, something. Hey. Oh me? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I engineer. I just, I just switch the cameras around. I don't know. Do I make beats? Nah, I just video engineer, sound engineer. That guy over there raps. He makes history. Yeah, I make history. That guy raps over there. From time to time. Pro Tools. No man got Pro Tools. I got some Pro Tools. Yeah. I use Pro Tools, Logic. Logic's the best, man. Pain Logic is definitely down. well when you when, when to make for, a for beat, beats uh, for to beats. Make a beat, the Logic, best. you want to do Logic when you when you engineer and you mix in instrumentals and beats. You want to do Logic when you record. If you're songs, recording, him, yeah, then all right, Pro, Pro Tools. Tools. But right, you can process you can process the same exact files and lay them both across Pro Tools and Logic, export them, and listen to this difference, and you can clearly clearly hear the clarity in the Logic file. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You can, huh? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, like I said, I just want to so, thank y'all too. I want to thank y'all for uh, inviting us here to, uh, you know, explain the uh, web series and uh, stuff like that. You know, when people opening up a door for you like that to say, "Hey, we got a radio station and." Yeah, we got some spot for y'all. Come on in. We ain't gonna turn that down. We on our way. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gotta say no more. We on our way. So I like yeah, to thank no y'all for man. looking just out keep, too. No problem, man. Just keep, you just just keep it going, man. Watch. Just keep being creative. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what we're trying to do right now. We got a movement going. Yeah, Everybody, yeah, yeah. every 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 form of what we're doing is creative. And you never know when anything can take off for you. So you know what I mean. No matter how old, how young you are, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman was you like have a, in his a, a 40s. Huge Hollywood career ahead of you guys right now. Man. Same thing that with be prosperous for right. you know, yeah. 40, but 50 years. There's a lot of people. You like know what that. I mean? Don't don't ever. Harrison Ford was yeah. like a con Harrison was like a Ford's construction worker before he did Star Wars. Yeah. Somebody was just yeah, I don't know the exact story, but I love this beat right here. That's what cool. be. Oh, it's the uh, mask off. The mask, mask off. off. Let, mask it, off. let it rock. Can they hear lines? it? They can't hear it. It's, I can hear it again. Oh, we can't. We can't hear it. You want to open the lines up? Yeah, they open. Yeah, what? The yeah. lines yeah. is open. We don't never close the lines. You put up a number? Molly. Oh yeah, yeah. If you want to call in 914-356-8712. Yeah. Molly Percocet. 3568712. Molly Percocet. Hey, yo, I'm set. Uh, never I got a bit. Uh, I got a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, hell yeah. I'm like, give me a uh, perfect set, motherfucker. Uh, do, nah. do something. I got the money on top. I got the shit that don't stop. Oh, my niggas are right. Uh, mm. It's a sample. Uh, when I first heard oh, this shit, I was shaking my head like, I can't listen to this song. 
Because of the shot, word I was like shot, I can't though. Can he just say Some other shit Like yeah. Oh man yeah, but And then like Two days and, later I was, oh, was playing and shit. This shit hard as yeah. fuck I played this like hot. Three times yeah. Gotta give yeah. it That beat is hot though that It's crazy is. how Simple the song is It's like, just a sample That's that's flipped He slowed it down And do the fucking jump Not the beat The beat is tough I'm talking him on, Oh on future Yeah Like literally just saying Listen Molly Perkins said Set. Yeah, Molly but Perkins. you got you guys got a call. Oh, we got a call. We got a call. Calling in, caller, yeah. aka Baller. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? How are you? Good, man. How's it going? All right, I'm calling in because I see you got my crew up there. The last re up. Those are my people right there. <laughs> okay. Detective State Deeds. your name. Absolutely. Yo, my name is Daryl, aka Sneaky D, aka the original Violet, aka. P.O. Parson is P. in the o. building. P.O. Parson. What up? Shout what out. Up. What's going what on, right man? Up? What's going on? I'm watching y'all, man. What's going on? Yo, we I out here. I see everything here. going real good. You know we out here. You know, we represent. Yeah, yeah. So what's going on? You're on, you're on the, the show as well, right? Day. Yeah. He, he's on the show as well, right? Yes. Yeah, give him a little yeah. information on what you, you know, on the show. and how What's you, your character? Well, I'm P.O. Parson, you know, right now I'm in Florida looking at this house. Thank hey. you to um, Miss Red and uh, Cuba for giving me that money to help me get this house built. Mm-hmm. Right. Appreciate right. them. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I'm P.O. Parson. I'm the um, I'm Cuba's um, security, basically. I got to make sure he all right. He got to check in with me. And Miss um, Red is trying to get him locked in, you know. She don't want him out. She want him in. Hey. Behind the wall. So how's your experience you know, been on the show? Say that again? I say, how's your experience been on the show? Oh, the experience has been crazy. You know, you know, we all started, it's like, this is my first time being on a, a web series like this, and, you know, Aisha and Hamid and, and and Jay, they you know they started it out you know they coming from the from the start, but right. each show as you see it gets better and better, so you know and like they said at the beginning you know it's a family thing everybody sits there mm-hmm. and they have a good time laughing and giggling like Hamid said, so right. you know I just enjoy it. Absolutely, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So is this this is your first experience acting? Uh, yeah, in a way, you could say that. I did some, like, extra scenes right. in a couple of spots before. I was in, if you remember Oz on HBO, I was there twice. Oh, you know, nice. I, 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 I was on um, Law & Order. I did a couple of joints. But, mm. oh, you nice. know, talking and doing what I'm doing right now, this is like a, a first time for me. That's what's up, man. You did great. Violators. Yeah, original violator in the building, baby. You already know this is what we do. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so I'm just happy, you know, I got a chance to call in. I'm sitting here like, damn, when they gonna put the number up so I can call in? (laughs) (laughs) I heard. I mean, everybody up like, yo, what's the number? I feel like I'm on my show. What's the number? Yeah, sorry for You know, we got a show as well. Violators Radio all day. Okay, that's what's up. So where can we check you out on that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got Violators Radio, which is um, on Mm IXSradio.com. It's it's, um, every Saturday from 3 to 5 p.m. We on vacation for the month of May because there's a lot of graduations, um, vacations, uh, you know, Mother's Day. It's a lot of things that's going on in the month of May. So right. June third, we back in effect, fully. That's what's up, man. Thank you for calling in, man. We appreciate you calling in. Yeah. Man, yeah. man, I appreciate y'all accepting this call, and you know I'm happy that the last re up is in the building. Thank yes, you for watching, man. and thank you for putting them on the show. Because listen, we all a family. If anybody is listening, this is what it is. Check out the last re up when you get on YouTube. Subscribe to 180th Street Films. 
because you are missing out on one of the hottest series in the land right now. This joint is picking up. Everybody is checking us right now. Get ready. The movement is sick. The movement is all the way sick. Get ready. The last re-up, and you already know, Friday, 8 p.m. Episode 8. Friday's the finale, we heard. Definitely. You already know. Get ready. It's going to be crazy. I'm definitely going to tune in. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to tune in. You have to. Up. If you don't tune in, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Something's definitely wrong. If you're not exactly. tuning in, you got to the watch last episode re-up. 8 for real. Because it's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. Got to get the popcorn ready. So, so for Friday at 8 o'clock, yep. you said? Or around 8 o'clock. There? Friday. 8 o'clock. That's it. Friday, 8 p.m. Definitely. Get ready. Nice. You know, know what you do? Log in to YouTube. Go on to 108 District Film. Subscribe. And then when she's when it's about to come on, you yeah. will get a notification. Mm. Nice. That's this true. is what we do. Subscribe. Right, director? All the time. <laughs> That's it. So uh, thank you. You know, right now I'm still watching them build my house in Florida. You know, thank you, Miss mm-hmm. Red. Thank you, Cuba, for the money. I appreciate y'all. Ah, yo. Tell gangsta. You won't hear me saying that. You won't hear me saying that on the show, though. <laughs> yeah, but thank y'all. Appreciate you, Kenny Shane, and the rest of your crew. Love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank See y'all you very soon. Much, man. Yes, sir. Peace. All right, Z. Thank you for coming, right. bro. All right, leave it open for any more callers that want to call. And in the meantime, man, why don't y'all give y'all social media where everybody can find yeah, you. Yeah, just start, starting with you, Jay Boogie. Yeah, um, you can find me. You can find me on Facebook, June Roll. You can hit my Instagram, June Roll 5. At Instagram, uh, you can hit me, uh, June Roll 51, Gmail. However you want to hit me, it don't matter. But um, Instagram, Facebook, or Gmail, you can get at me. June Roll, all of them is June Roll. Spell it, J-U-N-E-R-O. J-U-N-E-R-O-L-L-E. Okay. 551. Either one, 5 or 51. Instagram, Gmail, Facebook. Get at me. Got you, got you. June Roll. June Roll. Okay, for me, uh, the last Re-Up Web Series fan page group on Facebook or Instagram is Writer Boss Aisha. And uh, for Hamid, it's Hamid Abdullah on Facebook. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, well, yeah, my Facebook is kind of under construction right now. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. Y'all can check me out on Yahoo. I got an email, whatever. It's Lonnie dot Saxon at Yahoo dot com. Lonnie Saxon. Yeah, you Lonnie. You got like an Instagram or anything like that? Uh, nah, not at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Got you, got you. But what about my man with the plan over there. Oh, she gave. Yeah, she gave mine. She oh, gave mine. Oh, yeah. I'm Hammer H A M M A at Bounty Nomad on Instagram. A.K.A. Mini Millie Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Mel. <laughs> Mini Mel. <laughs> Facebook Mini and Instagram coming in a hood near you. <laughs> Worldwide. And again for the ladies, Most Juicy important. is going to need another girlfriend for season two. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you what happened to the first one. But uh, if you watch it, you see what happened to the first one. But on a, on a serious uh, tip... For the ladies, I am going to need another girlfriend for season two. So we're going to have, you know, contact us or send us a picture. You know what I mean? And uh, get with us, man. Got a big booty and, some, and a nice rap. Well, you know I mean? Just, just be yourself. Yeah, just be yourself. <laughs> you know, be yourself. Take the picture the way you want to take it. Send it to me. I mean, don't send me no new picture because we ain't doing no nude scenes. Have some respect. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, send me a picture. uh or, or get with me, my sister, Jay Boogie, any one of us, and uh, 
I do need another girl to play my girlfriend in season two. And this is an opportunity for you to get exposure. This hey. is an opportunity for you to, if if you're a person not used to talking in front of people, it, it, it opens you up to talk in front of the camera. And you never know who's going to pick you up. You know, like like Remy and them say, I'm a, we're on our way up. One exactly. day at a time, you know? Exactly. And if you don't know, I'm sure you know now, but if you don't know, you're just tuning in. It's the last re-up. It's the web series on YouTube, and this Friday is the finale coming up. We want to thank you guys very much for coming on the show tonight. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Very thank, much. You. thank you. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's dope. We definitely see what you're doing, recognize where you're going, and we definitely want to continue to watch you on your journey, guys. So thank you. Thank you once again. Anything else you guys want to say before, uh, before we get out of here? Last re-up. Last we up the web series, and I'm waiting for the Oscars to call me, cause I know I did my thing in this. Mm. <laughs> my man. <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Another sir. Another episode of the Gone Cast in the books. We got Hammer. So next week when we tune in with Nomad, we're just gonna call you Hammer from now on. <laughs> Mini Mel, I like that Mini yeah, Mel. Yeah, Mini Melly Mel. And thank you, the full cast. Well, not the full cast, but. Uh, very vital part of the cast coming on right now. We have the, the creator and, and and the cast of the last re-up. So thank you guys for coming on. Frank, as always, take yes, us sir. out. We gone. We gone. We gone. See ya.